following breaking news right now out of Florida. We have details about what exactly happened during a school board meeting that nearly ended in a bloodbath just hours ago. The meeting was carried live on an internet video feed. People watched in horror as it all played out. What they saw was a disgruntled gunman fire repeatedly at point-blank range at school board members who were seated right in front of him on a platform. Tom Foreman joins us now with the latest, and we want to warn you, the video we're about to show you is disturbing to watch. Tom? Hey, you know, Anderson, you're absolutely right about this. This started just after 2 o'clock this afternoon as the school board meeting was winding down. And let me repeat that warning. You're going to see someone get shot here. Witnesses say Clay Duke stood up, began talking about how his wife lost her job, then spray-painted a big V on the wall with a circle around it, like that graphic novel, novel V for Vendetta. Then he pulled out a handgun and said someone was going to die. Just watch this. Everybody in this room, behind that counter, get the road. Leave. You may leave, you may leave. Dean, he told you when you can leave. Six men stay. Everyone else leaves. He's, he's talking. John, go ahead. Who's your wife? I didn't have a school board didn't have anything to do. No, no, Gene. Ginger. No. Well, you saw right Ginger. there how one of the school board members, Ginger Littleton, after she left, tried to knock the gun away with her purse. It doesn't work. Still, he lets her and many other people there leave. Some of this video, by the way, is from WJHG, a TV crew that was there at the same time. But now listen to what happens next. As the superintendent, Bill Husfeld, confronts him about this alleged firing of his wife, telling him to let everyone else go. I mean, they don't sign the papers. I'm the only one that signs them. Will you let them go? I mean, you, but you're obviously upset at me. So why are they here? They're part of it. Part of what? The scam. Sir, I, I don't know what you ran to, to stop taxes, okay? You said we don't need no taxes. No, just There's plenty of me, money. Then as soon as you gutted the school system, then you turned around and said, oh, now we need this half cent sales tax again. I said we need a half cent sales tax from the very beginning. I, I campaigned on that. Right. Oh, yes, I did. Right. You can find, you can look on the material. I said from the beginning, the half cent sales tax is the most equitable way because everybody pays it, not just property owners. I mean, this guy, the superintendent's facing a guy with a gun and he's trying to talk him down about this. About that time, the gunman starts looking around, walking a bit, and now comes the tough part. Just watch what happens next. Just listen to me for a minute. I don't want anybody to get hurt, and I, I've got a feeling that what you want is the cops to come in and kill you because you're you're mad because you said you're going to die today. But why? If this is this isn't worth it. This is a problem. Please don't. Please don't. Please. Oh. I'm going to kill you. Don't you understand? I'm Unbelievable. Tom, I mean, the video, he's clearly shot by, by someone off the, uh, the camera to the left. That was a security guard, right? Yeah, that was a security officer for the schools, Mike Jones. He's a retired police detective. There were seven shots in that piece of video. And I want you to look again in slow motion at what happens here. The first shot seems to go right at the superintendent. You see the papers fly up in front of him there when the shot goes up. And he looks like he's hit. He goes down, but then watch as the shot goes into the floor, his head pops up for a moment. Then the shot comes from the left. He gets hit. Another shot comes. He's hit again. Two shots fired back, then one more shot. And then he goes down as the officer shoots him there and puts him down on the ground. Um, just unbelievable. And I want you to look at one tighter angle we have here, Anderson, as well. This is the gunman himself. You can see his face. If we move in a little bit closer, this you can give us that shot. Now you see him. Same moment. He Please starts don't. shooting. Please. And we're going to stop him. But listen. I'm going to Now, you see at the end there, we just played the audio. We didn't want you to see that up close, what was happening there. But you could hear that hail of fires, uh, of fire from the officer closing in on him. And you can hear him, I don't know if it's clear to you there, saying, quit moving. Uh, you know, a very standard police thing. You, this guy's got a gun. He's on the ground. What we're told is he ultimately shot himself in the head when he was on the ground there. And right afterwards, Anderson, uh, just amazing, you can actually hear the school board member saying, 
Well, maybe he was shooting blanks because they can't believe that nobody in the room was hit yeah. by this guy firing that gun around. And it really is quite amazing. But All they right. were real bullets. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like he was a good shot.